really can keep big holes in your yard and the snakes you don't necessarily want. So these are the best snakes to have around. Can we get a king snake? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you guys have one in your yard. Um, I, I not forgot how much you love snakes. Like she has a snake book. I forgot <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully you guys will find one, and if you do, you can call us or you can call uh, Mark and Mark will get it. So is this the deal? Is you found it yesterday, mm -hmm. and you called them, and they came and got it, and then you guys just checked it out. So we make sure the snake's healthy. We test it for diseases. Uh, we get measurements on the snake. We determine if it's male or female. And this one, I would say, is a male. How this one was a male. Know? So you can kind of tell from the length of the tail compared to how long the body is. Hmm. But the only way to really know is if you probe the snake. Um, so we do that in kind of a lab setting. Um, so we're not out in the woods doing that. But um, then we take a small tissue sample, um, basically a little scale clipping, like clipping your fingernails. Um, so we can see kind of the relatedness of snakes across Metro Atlanta. Um, so that's part of what we're doing. And then when snakes are larger, we have some that we actually put chips in, just in the skin and we track them in neighborhoods to see how they're surviving um, in developed areas. Yeah, so wow. you can. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's definitely get a picture. <laughs> All right, so see how he's just moving a lot? Yeah. So, so that's we gotta like. You're like a snake treadmill. <laughs> okay, we treadmill. <laughs> yep. All right. So you hold your hands out. And so he'll, okay. Nice. Sorry, so he. Oh, don't. <laughs> okay, so I do not. I have a pure getting bitten by tiny things. Totally intentional. How about I hold the head and you can hold the back end? Yeah. yeah. There we go. So I have his head. Great job. Pretty cool, huh? So is he slimy at all? Not really. Kind of like the way sweaty hands would feel after being in the sun for a while. Yeah, so really smooth. <laughs> Snakes are totally harmless. They're non-venomous. Do not. Ever since I got bitten by the steward's two turtles, I try to keep as many bitten by them as possible. I understand. That may make me a dog. All right. Well, do you want to help me release him? We're gonna put him over here. Oh God. Oh no. He loves snakes, Carly. Say goodbye, Mark. Say goodbye. Bye, Mini Kingy. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, so what's, what are you guys going to name him? Mini Kingy? Mini? Or just name it Mini? Yeah. Mini. 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 Okay. Even though he's not that small. No, but compared to the other one you found. We once had this, like, last year I think we had this seven foot black snake in our Oh yeah, good black Very rat cool. snake. So those are great to have too, so they eat all the rodents that get your house or big holes in your yard. We have a chance. Yep. So they won't Does go after cats. Help. Cats are a little too big for them. To <laughs> but but no, cats I mean, want to go after them. Yes. Okay. Cats will. Dogs will. Cats Our will. cat. We can I touch? Can I touch? Absolutely. Is there a special way we we pet him? No, I'm good. So really, you want to pet Ooh. going down the body, but it's not perfect. <laughs> I used to get like nightmares from snakes. I think they were in my bed as a kid. I would like sleep in the fetal position because I didn't want. I mean, people have that, that phobia. Like, like when I was, I remember babysitters were always like, "Oh my god, that scares me." Yeah. When I was like a little bit younger, I used to sleep with dumb dogs because I hated bugs. Because I used to bug guards. Mm. So I slept with dumb dogs, so I wouldn't get bugs. I saw my teeth. Do you feel like it helped? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In a very young age. It'd be very hot. I do not like. I cannot sleep when it is cold. Will not, and I cannot sleep when it's still upstairs. Neither can snakes. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, they don't like when it's super cold either. So I this is, so how does it survive in the winter? So they will go Brown into girl. what's called brumation, and they go underground, oh, wow. um, and they find a place where they're underneath the frost line, so that even if it gets really, really cold, um, they can still survive. But they slow their metabolism down. They'll still come out if it's sunny to bask and to get some sun. But other than that, in the winter, they have one spot and they just stand around. So it warms up in the spring. Kind of like hibernation in the farm. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. You ready to help me let him go? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's come over here. And I'll let you hold the back end. Big
We went to a, um, a meeting they had at the library about the Urban King Snake Project, and we just did a day out with Robert, and they had a snake there. And they give you their, literally give you their cell phone numbers, and you, you call, text or call them. Going right into the wood pile. Oh, that's a nice wood pile right there. Maybe you'll see Minnie Kenny again.